something else, buddy. <laughs> I'm Aaron Throckmorton, welcome to the show. Since I've been filming Giving Back for the last four years, I've been lucky enough to travel to a lot of great places around the world, but there's nothing quite as special as my home state. This week, I get to follow my brother, my nephew, and my dad as they go on a bighorn sheep hunt in my home state of Montana. We need to get Archer's ears on this though too, for sure. After 30 years of applying, my brother was lucky enough to draw a coveted bighorn sheep tag in Montana. He drew in an area that we hadn't hunted before, so before the season started, he and I, along with my nephew and my dad, took a scouting trip to check out the country. Where's Dog Creek? That way. On the other road? No, we can get to it down Whiskey Ridge Road. Oh, okay. Okay. So we're right here. So those guys didn't own, well, well, if they let you in though, they, they could get you in some old Jones Cone. Well, let's keep going. See, we're... Yeah, we keep going. We're going to okay. go through more private and then more BLM. we were driving to one of the areas we wanted to scout, we encountered some bighorn rams right off the county road. The next day, we just kept checking out new areas, trying to learn as much as we could about this vast country. See that way? Yeah. Well, when breeding season starts, do the land, do the rams leave here and go yes. to use? Okay. But there is some, so there's going to be use in land. Anyway. Right, right. But the major concentration, they stay in this time, they stay away from predators. Okay. Because it gets worse as you go down the river. Well, I think we found out what we wanted to know this trip. I yeah. wasn't expecting to see any sheep or anything this trip. It's too bad a guy couldn't get on that ridge over there. No, it's, it's wicked. That's what I hiked up here. It was, it was pretty, pretty much straight down into that pretty wicked country in there. Wow. You're not Arch, getting through there. I actually went to this big flat spot and I just Hey, you're not you're not getting through there. It's basically straight down and then yeah. you're not getting up from anywhere. No, I know that a lot of this country's like that. I don't know, yeah, this hot, is, so we should probably try to find a ridge over there to Yeah, this is right down. sticking my nose over the edge. That's straight down and that's about hundred feet below me is that little thing that's flat. We'll have to try to lighten that. We put on a lot of miles that weekend, both on the tires and the boots. We explored as much of this country as we could, and we were feeling pretty confident heading into the season. Giving Back is brought to you by True Flight Adventures, your source for hunting and adventure travel all around the globe. Hammer Bullets, advanced technology, simply better. Safari Taxidermy, preserving the memory of your hunt for over 40 years. Kenetrek Boots, for the trail less travel. Magnus Broadheads, superior quality and outstanding performance. Coppersmith Global Logistics, your import specialist for 25 years. The first day of the hunt was still archery season as rifle season started the very next day. So Reed and Archer headed into an area that was high on the places they wanted to hunt. They were hoping to locate a good ram so Reed could try and make a stock on it with his bow. Straight out. Just want to straight to that point and start the last Which point? That one. Just straight to that point. Let's get him. They hiked in about five miles to a massive canyon and just started to glass. 
They were picking apart every patch of timber, every cliff, every ravine that they could. After about an hour of glassing, they finally laid eyes on the first rams of the trip. We'd have to drop down, come across, go back up, go up that, and then sneak over the top. Now you can see him just sticking out. There was a couple decent rams in that bunch, but nothing Reed wanted to go after. So they headed out and decided to try a completely different spot later that afternoon. It's going to have to go back up. Is it? Archer, look, there was a big sheep in here last night heading down towards the river. Let's, let's try to be quiet, get up here, do some glass, and try to find them. Let's right. go. This country is steep, it's treacherous, and it's really tough to get around in. You have to watch every single step or you'll be sliding down the mountain in no time. These guys carefully got into an area and glassed until dark, but they just couldn't locate any sheep that night. The next morning was the start of rifle season. The guys decided to try a completely new area, one we hadn't even checked out during our initial scouting trip. But looking over the maps, it appeared to be a good area. So they headed out before sunup, climbed to the top of the mountain, wanting to check out some of the ravines and try and locate some rams at daybreak. We hiked all over that mountain that morning, going from canyon to canyon. The temperature was climbing to over 90 degrees, but we kept pushing on. Unfortunately, we just couldn't locate any sheep. Have I mentioned how steep this country is? Well, we took off this morning from the truck, new area, hiked up a pretty steep ridge, checked out four or five big ravines. No sheep, they're moving cows today, a lot of dogs, a lot of people. It's all right, there's sheep here. We'll try it again next week. That following weekend, we went back and decided to hit a different area one afternoon. We knew it was gonna be challenging getting in there, but felt if we could get back into this area, it would produce some sheep. We just kept moving further back into the country. We felt that if we kept going, stayed positive, our luck would have to change for the better. And after glassing for about 10 minutes, it did, as Reed picked up what appeared to be a great ram.
After watching that ram the night before, Reed decided it wasn't quite the caliber he was looking for. So that next morning we hiked into an area that we had scouted earlier that summer. Our plan was to go in a few miles and just start glassing. It didn't take long before Reed picked up four rams, but they were a long ways away and we couldn't tell how big they were. We wanted to make sure we got a better look before heading their direction and decided to stay until dark if that's what it took. Just the way this country goes, you <laughs> they can hide anywhere. Well, we knew there was more than one the other night. You could just tell by the tracks. Mm -hmm. Shoot. <laughs> that next morning, we hiked back into the area with Dad, and we did get a good look at those rams. None were shooters, but seeing these rams started to get our spirits up. After watching those rams feed away, we went to another area and immediately found three more bighorn sheep. After watching those rams for a while, Reed decided none were shooters. We had to head home that day, but our spirits were high, seeing all the different sheep on this trip. He's cold. We came back a couple weeks later and decided to try a brand new area that was really secluded. It was challenging getting into this area. We had to skirt around the river, we had to go down some really, really steep embankments and make our own trail at times. We felt that with this area being so hard to get to, maybe one big old ram would be holed up back there all by himself. Once we got back in there, it didn't take long to start seeing animals. We stayed in that area all day, but just couldn't locate any sheep. Only mule deer and antelope. The next morning, we went back to that same area and decided to go in even further. We knew this area had to hold a big ramp.
We kept pushing forward. We went deeper into this country. We hiked every ridge, we looked in every canyon, and we glassed for hours, but we just couldn't locate any sheep anywhere. So right at dark the night before, we saw a great ram up on the cliffs, but couldn't get a real good look at him. So we went back into that same area the next morning and made sure we were there at daybreak. We located a big ram last night, put him to bed, watched him till dark, got in here early this morning. We found him. First thing, he's up on a big cliff face up here, about a half mile. So we're going to take a closer look and maybe we'll get our sheep down today. He's feeding, he has no clue. Got him. It's pretty awesome. 30 years. 30 years, every year since I was 12, I've been putting in for a chance at one of these Montana legends. Down here, Missouri River Breaks, Lewis and Clark, the history. Oh, words really can't explain it. I don't know how big this ram is, but I liked him. I liked the style. And really at the end of the day, it's, it's what you like on the wall. So, yeah, that was my brother, my dad the whole time. It's been fun. Now we got to go see if we broke him. <laughs> He's coming this way. If we had to come up here, we wouldn't have seen him. Yeah, we just got lucky coming up this ridge. Huh. Well, we got to be here somewhere. We know his dad. Is that him? Oh boy, there's some big holes in there. Giant, we didn't know he was this good. <clears throat> we shot him. Wow. Very thankful, very blessed. 30 years. Crazy country, tough. We don't know exactly how we're gonna get him out of here, but we'll just inch at a time. We got the sheep. Um, <laughs> he's down and it was really challenging for me to get up to him. Um, it is straight up and down here. And I got to a spot where 
I was 10 feet from the ram and it took me like 30 minutes to get to him. I just couldn't get to him. It's so steep. I mean, if you fall down any of this, you're going a long ways. And I was trying to be as careful as I could. Um, Reed went down to get the packs. I told him I could come up and get the sheep. And um, It was a little more gnarly than I thought, but I got him. He's, I got him down halfway in the mountain. Um, I was just trying to figure out what to do and how to get him out of here. God, he's a beautiful ram. He is a beautiful Montana Missouri River Breaks ram. And uh, what a day. It's still early, but I think it's gonna take most of the day to get him out of here. So, Whew. what an adventure. <laughs>